when I clean my face, I clean my face. I can't have like a rough clean. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. In today's video, we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently because you guys have been asking for this a lot and it's become so much more frequent in your comments that I thought I need to do this for you guys. I am gonna be showing you how to take your makeup off from your face properly. So you're gonna be getting unready with me today. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram too, so don't forget to come say hi there. Now let's jump straight into the video. So many of you guys have been asking how I remove my makeup, so I thought I really want to show you how to remove it properly. And what better way than to show you when I have a full glam look going on with glitter and everything. So I thought, why not just make it a little bit more difficult on me? We are going to start off by using a cleansing water. Now, I don't like using like oily products on my face, so I'm not going to be using a oil. Sometimes I will use an oil makeup remover for my eye area because it really gets rid of it but i have lash extensions at the moment so i can't use a makeup remover which has oil in it so this is going to be a tough one but we're going to get there so we're going to start off with basically using my micellar well it's not a micellar water actually is it i think it is yeah it's my herborean cleansing water and basically what i'm going to do is just remove all of this excess makeup first so my whole priority here is just to get rid of the makeup first so we're going to start off with the rest of the face and then I'm going to work on my eye area. So all I'm doing is just kind of like really kind of like smoothing this over with a cotton pad. And even though this isn't really technically, is it a makeup remover? Yes, yeah, refreshing cl uh, cleanser and makeup remover. So you do get some kind of like cleansing waters which don't really talk about the fact that it is a makeup remover now i just want to explain to you that i am not kind of vigorously rubbing rubbing i know it may seem like that but i'm actually not pressing hard at all i'm actually going quite lightly over the skin so i'm just going to go around this area here now my main aim here is just to get rid of the makeup because i know this isn't going to be cleansing my skin at all so this is just to get rid of all that excess makeup. And then we're going to start with the cleansing. And what I love is this cleansing water is just so gentle. That's why I like it because it doesn't kind of irritate my skin. So now I'm just going really close to the eye area. I utilize my cotton pads thoroughly, trust me. So what I'm doing is I've folded it and I'm just going to like go really close here very lightly like go back and forth into my lower lashes and that really kind of like gets rid of everything that's stuck in between the lashes then i fold it again so it's like a quarter and i go into my inner corner to really just drag out any product that might be there when i clean my face I clean my face. I can't have like a rough clean. Okay, now I've gone over most of my face. This last cotton pad here is just gonna like kind of make sure that we've got all the makeup that may be from, you know, like on the jawline area. And another place I feel like a lot of people forget is, you know, like the hairline and into the ear area, wherever you blend, like that product, trust me, it goes everywhere. So I always make sure I go into my hairline so that I can grab hold of all the product. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna get some more of that cleansing water and we're just gonna like fold the pad like I have there. And we're gonna go over the eye area there. Look how good that is, it just takes it right off. But I'm not going close to my lash line yet because I'll do that in a little while, but I'm going, going as close as I can. And then just kind of like lifting up, not into the lashes. Okay, that's taken off majority. Let's fold it the other way. So like we've taken it off there, we're gonna fold it like that.
and we're really kind of like grabbing hold of that glitter. Now we've taken most of it off there. You can see that that was pretty quick. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to get one more pad and my face doesn't feel rough at all. You know, sometimes when you take makeup off, like I've seen some people and they really go for it. It, it feels, you know, fine. Now what I'm doing is I'm folding it again. Now I'm going to go close to my lash line and you can basically pull your eye just a little bit there and i'm going to just drag this glitter up we're going to do the same on this side so if you need to pull you can pull Now we're gonna get a Q-tip. And what I'm doing is I'm basically gonna just put this in here and like in the little hole there. And this is basically gonna absorb all that product, all that liquid. And the whole Q-tip is now kind of covered in it. Now what I'm gonna do is, this is where I'm gonna go really close to my lash line. And I'm basically just lightly going into my lash line and because this is a water it's not going to disturb my lash extensions and then you can go into your lower lashes as well because you really don't want to kind of like pull them okay so we've removed the makeup now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in very quickly wash my face i'm going to be using my kiehl's blue herbal face wash because currently i feel like my I, i've just broken out a very small amount around the chin so i am going to be using that because it's got a little bit of salicylic acid in there so i'm going to be going washing my face and i'll be back in a sec and I'm back, so my face is nice and dry, it's been washed. I am going to be doing my nighttime routine because obviously I've taken my makeup off, it's the end of the day. So I'm going to be showing you the products that I'm going to be using now to just finish off my whole evening nighttime routine. So I'm going to be using my Wind Casper Stars. This is a product that I've been re using recently and I really do love it. And like I said, I don't use it daily because I use it where I feel when I feel like my skin needs it. So it isn't something you have to use all the time, but currently i'm using it daily it is like a gentle exfoliator for my skin so it helps to kind of like resurface the skin and it's perfect for nighttime because obviously when we're sleeping and when we're in our deep sleep cycle is when our skin really kind of kicks into that whole healing cycle so it basically starts recovering from all of the days kind of like any damage that it may have and this really helps so this kind of like gives me it gives me like smoother skin and it clears my skin up a little bit more so it's great when i have kind of like rough texture so i just put one drop that's it and it's kind of like a thick it's like a it's not really a serum it's more of a even though i think it does say serum yeah it is like it does say serum but it's more of a thick nighttime serum so what i do is i basically just kind of like smooth this over i just put this all over not around the eyes though and then I just let that dry. Now this is great when you have kind of rough textured skin or you're feeling like your skin is a little bit congested. That's how I feel like my skin is at the moment down here, which is why I'm using this at the moment. And it really helps to kind of like, like for example, it's got glycolic acid, it's got salicylic acid. Those two acids are my ultimate all time favorite acids because they are amazing for congested textured skin. So it really helps to kind of gently exfoliate the skin and obviously clear up any blemishes that you may have or any areas where you feel like your skin is a little bit congested maybe underneath the foot like it's underneath the skin you know you get those tiny bumps it's really good for that plus it's got aloe vera so it is calming for the skin as well because when you're using all these acids and this is generally very gentle anyway but the fact that it has aloe vera in there it really does give you that more of a come kind, of, kind of calming feel to the skin so it isn't gonna you know your skin isn't gonna flare up so it generally is good and i sometimes can kind of break out from certain products and i worry even when it says it's for clearing the skin but this genuinely has worked really really well with my skin now that that's kind of like sunken into the skin and my skin's not feeling like wet anymore it's just feeling slight tackiness to the skin 
Now I apply my Wind Casbah Moonlight. This is my night cream that again, I don't use every night, but I do use when I feel that I need it. So even though my skin is quite congested on this lower part of my face at the moment, I do also feel like I need that added hydration because I feel like, you know, when, you're, when you break out, it doesn't necessarily mean that your skin is oily. So it can be that your skin is still dehydrated and that can be sometimes worse because you've get, got that dryness and it just looks really kind of like almost wrinkly. So, and just very kind of like, all the moisture has been sucked out and that's how the, this area here is feeling for me at the moment i've had it before so it isn't something that's unusual to me but it you know it, you just go through phases so at the moment like i've done this before so i know that this is what helps my skin now the reason i use this now is because this is that kind of added kind of boost of hydration and it's a cream to oil so it basically it looks like a cream so it's like that it looks like a cream and then you put it on and it's almost like this really nice I would say not like oil finish, but it's just a very kind of like, how can I put it? Like the best of an oil without it being oily. And that's why it's kind of pillow proof as well. So you could, you know, you don't have to worry about this feeling like overly oily. You just feel like you've really kind of pampered your skin. So now I know that I've got the Casba Stars, which is working on clearing up my congestion. And then I've got my Casba Moonlight, which is basically giving me that extra boost of hydration. So that's what I like to do so that it just, that's my skin basically done. Next, I'm gonna put my eye cream on, which currently is the Drunk Elephant Ceramite AF Eye Balm. And I'm just gonna like smooth this over. And that's it. That is literally me done. So I basically wanted to show you exactly what I use to remove my makeup. And you've seen that it's gentle on the face and don't press hard because honestly, even though it looks like I'm like going for it, it's because I'm so used to it, but I'm not pressing hard. I'm pressing very, very gently. So it removes makeup really, really well. This is an amazing product for removing makeup, but obviously you always wanna make sure you double cleanse. So you wash your face after as well to get rid of any excess residue that maybe the cotton pad has missed you must finish off with the right skincare so that even though you, you know you may have had a full face of makeup on all day you've got skincare which is really going to help to kind of just look after your skin and nourish your skin to get to so you can wake up to your best skin so hopefully that kind of like is good it's shown you exactly what my routine is and how i remove makeup and how you really need to be gentle and it is about the products you use but also how you remove your makeup too well, I hope you enjoyed getting unready with me and it kind of like shows you what my nighttime routine is. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.